Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you get to uh, watch this quick clip. My name is Big Joe Shep, as you know, chief bloke and founder at the Three Blokes, a Ball and Bod group of online uh, rugby chat shows that we send out globally. Today, though, I'm really chuffed. Today, I am joined by Ilse von Staden, who is a rugby player. <laughs> just, we've just been practicing that name. <laughs> uh, we've just been practicing the name. Ilse is uh, a player with Cook Rugby Football Club in Belfast. Uh, she's also with uh, a long standing member of the Ulster, Provincial, Ulster Women's Provincial Squad and uh, previously played for Ireland as well. And the lead was uh, the prop at the uh, 2017 Women's Rugby World Cup. Ilse, very good day to you. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm really, really good. So, uh, you've just been out for a, a walk, looking really, really, yeah. good, looking really, really good. It's, it's a bit blowy on the island at the moment. Yes, it's. Uh, I feel a little bit windswept after taking the dogs and the boy out for a for a stroll. So, uh, don't don't mind the hairdo. I think we all have this lovely COVID nineteen um, hairdo going on at the minute. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. Because, because I have hardly nothing, but there we go. Listen, tell <laughs> us a little bit about Cook Rugby Club. Uh, what's the current situation with going back to training and how's everybody doing? Well, in, in Northern Ireland, we don't really have any anything on when we are going back to training. As such, uh, we are all governed by the IRFU. So we are currently waiting for the IRFU to, to give us the go-ahead. Now, they are working with in government guidelines um, to ensure that everybody stays safe when going back to rugby. So as of yet, we don't have really have a have a, a time and a, a date, but uh, we, we are hoping that it would be sooner rather than later. But you're still uh, keeping it. You've been keeping in training during, uh, during lockdown and filming. Um, I've been doing bits and bobs. Uh, I've been working more than, than, than training simply because uh, I'm in the food industry and it seemed that everybody was uh, eating their feelings over over this 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 period. So I've 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 tried to keep as much up with as much training as I possibly could. But um, hopefully we get back into a bit more of structured stuff soon. Cool. And just before we go on to the main reason you're here today, which is raising funds for for new lights, just uh, tell everybody very briefly about your your company because this is fantastic. Um, so I actually own uh, a company called Kenaku Biltong with my with my with my wife, and we make organically rare dairy cow cow biltong in the north of Ireland, which um, which is just it's it's fin a fantastic product. Now you're going to say that I'm biased, and I have to say that, but um, it's 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 something that I can can basically share my cultural heritage with the people from Northern Ireland and um, it's something that we really really enjoy doing. Absolutely and as we're finding there's more and more links with the uh, South Africans uh, up there as well with Sir Louis and Schalke on, uh, uh, on, oh, yeah. on is also. Fair play to you and, yeah. Alana, and we wish you all the very very best with that. So primary aim today is to uh, tell us a little bit about what is the requirement for, for Cook Rugby Club? What are, you, what are you trying to raise money for? So we are currently have a cooks light a cook lights up campaign, and we are trying to raise twenty thousand pounds at least, so that we can uh, improve our, our our floodlight system. Um, we are doing that by basically walking from Cook to all the Six Nations stadiums, which is three thousand three hundred and fifty seven miles in total. Wow. Um, as I think the last time we had an update, we were at Stadium Olimpico, uh, what's that, 2,000 odd miles. So we are well on our way to France now. And um, what we need people to do is basically to go on our Just Fund Me and pop a couple of quid on there because uh, every little helps. And by doing that, raise the 20K so that we can improve our floodlights and it gives us a better rugby playing um, environment, especially for the for the women's all island league, uh, we normally have our kickoffs at five thirty on a Saturday afternoon, um, mm. and you know what it's like it's in Northern Ireland over winter. Uh, by three o'clock, it's pitch black, and um, it it will just improve improve our uh, facility enormously if we can do this. Yeah, superb. Uh, a huge fan, obviously, uh, part of the team is uh, supporting uh, the grassroots as we can. Uh, so you'll see the GoFundMe page, uh, ladies and gents, on running on the bottom banner there. And I'm just going to stick up 
Uh, again, you can uh, go to uh, there it is as well. There's the GoFundMe page for Cug Rugby Football Club. As you can see there's ground uh, there, and uh, that's what they're trying to raise twenty thousand uh, for. And just to remind everybody again, it's twenty thousand. And what what's the team doing to to achieve that three thousand? So we're doing 3,357 miles, and that's basically walking to all the stadiums um, that takes part in the Six Nations. Superb. Listen, we wish uh, we wish you and Alana all the best with, uh, with, with the company, and uh, we wish Cook all the very best once you get back into playing rugby again, and uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll be able to uh, put this out for you into a, a, an awful lot of our forums globally and to give uh, Cook a shout out. And we wish you all the best when coming back to rugby for uh, for continuing future. We look forward to having you on the show once very soon. Thank you very much, Joe. And thanks so much for the support in advance. Um, every little helps. Grassroots rugby is incredibly important. Um, that is where that is where it all starts. And you can't have a provincial or an international setup without without a really good grassroots level rugby. So thanks so much for everything that you're doing to improve the grassroots level game. Thanks very much. And just to stick it back up again one more time, there we go. That is the GoFundMe page for Cug Rugby Fo Football Club to raise money for the uh, set of the new light system there. And it's running along the bottom of uh, the page on the banner as well today. Uh, I've been chatting with Ilse von Staten from Cook Rugby Club, from Ulster Rugby Club in Ireland. Uh, and uh, we wish you all the very, very best to you all. And we'll get this out for you. And we'll see you very soon. I'm Big Joe Shep. Good morning, Mahagat Tagus. Slangafal.